everybody, my name is Tanya and I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. So this is going to be a TBR video for the Readorama Readathon that started today. Today is the 8th of March, it's actually after 7.30 in the evening of the 8th of March so I've missed a whole day of readathoning but I've been out visiting and I couldn't have read anyway. I had no intention of joining this readathon um, but I've been watching a lot of TBR videos and my brain started thinking about the challenges. So I just thought I'd show you what I picked out that did meet those challenges and we'll see whether I end up participating properly or not. So I really don't need this. I finally had a slightly better March TBR. I'm working through Buddy Reading Middle March with Erica from Erica Able and you know that's gonna keep me occupied. But Erica's participating in this route alone too, so if she can, I can. So as I said, it's running from uh, the 8th of March, so this is a late TBR and it'll be running through till the 14th. So it is Sunday here, but I do have a public holiday tomorrow on Monday, so we'll be able to get some reading done then. So that, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. So I tried to pick out things that are already on my monthly TBR, but there are a couple of extra things in here. For people who already watched that video, there are some new things, but I didn't want to burden myself with too much more for the month. I also have no illusion that I'll be able to read all of this stuff in the week, but... So the Readorama Readathon read -a -thon is being hosted by a number of booktubers, and I'll leave some links and information down in the description. I don't know all that much about it, I have been following it in some way, but not too closely because, as I said, I hadn't been planning on participating, but the joiner in me strikes again. Okay, so getting on to the actual books that I hope to read this next week, the first challenge is to read a book from your TBR jar or a book that somebody else picked out for you. And the book that I have for this fits both of those things. It came out of my TBR jar for the month, but it's a book that's recommended to me. And that is the book that's my booktuber recommends project book of the month. And that is the one that was recommended to me by the wonderful Joe at Joe Reads Books. And that is The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Shabon. Which is quite a hefty book. I don't imagine that I'll be able to read this and all the other things that I want to read in the week. But it's the thing that fits that challenge. The next challenge is to read a book with green on the cover and for this I've decided to go with Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is a spoiler for the uh, birthday book haul that I filmed last weekend I think and I haven't edited it yet because I'm me. But this looks fantastic and there is green kind of gilt uh, highlighting around here and this cover is just so nice but green. The next challenge is to read a book with Rama in the title or title author so books with R-A-M-A -A and a combination of the title and the author's name. Now this is something that I actually started last night but because it's seven something now and I'm filming this and then we'll have to edit this and I haven't read all day, I'm not worrying about that, it's still going to count for the challenge and that is my Agatha Christie pick for the month, N or M. So we've got R from Christie, A from Agatha, N from N or M and another A in Agatha. So Rama in the title. I am 63% of the way through this, I did that last night. But this will count for that. So the next challenge is to read a diverse book and for this I have picked the Strange Lady by Haruka Murakami. Murakami is obviously a Japanese author, so diverse from me. And this is going to be a quick, fast little thing that I got for Christmas. I'm really intrigued to get to, and because it's full of pictures, it's not going to take me too long to read, so it's not going to be adding too much to my TBR for the month, a week, or whatever. And the excuse to get to this, I'll take it. The next challenge is to read a book with flowers on it, and I'm actually going to go back to something I've shown you already and say... Annihilation by Jess Vandermeer because, you know, that's totally some kind of freaky flower, right? It might actually turn out to be an alien. But for now I'm counting it as a flower. So if it is an alien or something other than a flower, don't tell me down in the comments. I don't want to know. But I'm counting this as a flower. So... And the next challenge is to read a contemporary. For this I'm going with Guitar Hero Rose by Bridget Lowry. This is one of the books I'm reading for my school project this month. And while it's a little bit older now, um, it's the general basis of contemporary that seems to be accepted on booktube in general is it's a book that isn't other things. So it's not a science fiction, it's not a paranormal, it's not a fantasy, it's not uh, a dystopian. It's, it's just a normal book. And this is just a normal book about normal-ish people doing people things. So 
And since this is something that I'm wanting to read for the month anyway, I'm counting that. So this is my contemporary pick. The next challenge is to finish the series or read the last book in a series and I'm going to show you a book I've been showing you this whole TBR video and that will be the Southern Reach Trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer. So I have no illusions that I'm not going to finish this trilogy in the month but Annihilation is really a tiny little thing so this won't take long and I'm so looking forward to this series. So the first one is Annihilation, then we have Authority and lastly Acceptance. So the whole concept of this trilogy sounds absolutely fantastic, the covers are glorious. I really really want to get to them sometime soon, as I said these are a spoiler for my upcoming birthday book haul. Uh, so the excuse to kind of pick them up is not unwelcome. Don't think I'm going to be able to read anywhere near this much in the week, but I'm hoping that I can at least get to Annihilation and read that because it's nice and small and if I fly through that then maybe I'll move on to the next one at least. And then the final challenge is to read seven books and that adds up to seven books. So I have a feeling this is just a video of face pulling. So these are the books that I have picked out that fit the challenges. As I said it's a uh, mix of three books that were on my TV after the month anyway and then a mix of four books that are not because I've put a whole trilogy in there and the strange library. But in general I haven't added too much to my monthly TBR, it's just probably too much to read it a week. But I guess that's the challenge of a readers one. So I guess now I better edit this quickly and actually get reading because I've lost the better part of the first day of the readathon. But public holiday tomorrow so yes. So as always thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!